it's fair to say that a soldier's bravery is unmatched. These individuals do the job so that the majority don't have to. They have courage, strength and a lack of fear, going into situations that many of us will never see. It's for this reason that we should show them respect, and understand that at the end of the day they're still human. Strange things happen to everyday people, and some of the most interesting stories come from those who have served in the military. A thread was recently put together detailing some of the strange things that military personnel have witnessed. This person detailed their story. This story isn't about me personally, but was told to me by my uncle. He didn't often open up about his military career for obvious reasons, but on this one occasion he decided to open up and tell me about one of his experiences. Perhaps this was the sole reason why he didn't want to talk about it. My uncle served in Vietnam, and said that while out there he and his team would encounter what he can only describe as short people, describing them as being hobbit-like and covered in hair. He said that on a number of occasions these creatures that also had small feet, would almost torment him and his team. This happened a number of times while they were on patrol. He said that although these sightings didn't last long he was able to get a good look at them, describing them as looking primitive and being much shorter than the average human, but saying that they were much more hairy than the average human. I could see that this was tough for him to talk about, and by the way he was telling the story it was as if he knew how outlandish it sounded, but he was firm about what he saw while on duty, and said that he wasn't the only one to encounter these things. It's an interesting family story that I'll hold on forever. End quote. Although hobbit-like creatures running around and tormenting soldiers doesn't sound like it's rooted in fact, there's actually records of these creatures being encountered by soldiers who were stationed in the region. These creatures have been given the name of rock aims, or rather patootoot when translated into Vietnamese, and have been recorded plenty of times. Dubbed Monkey Mountain, one particular spot appears to have attracted the eagle-eyed curious individuals who witnessed these creatures. Specifically, those who frequented Monkey Mountain began to expect to see or encounter these strange animals, though despite those in the region being well equipped, they also detailed that the rock apes also seemed to be one step ahead. The name rock apes was coined due to the reputation quickly built that when soldiers would throw rocks to these creatures, they would throw them back. Regarding their appearance physically, these creatures are described as a staggering six feet tall, with a strong build and being understandably intimidating threat to humans, further characterized through their large bellies, unproportionately large limbs, and hair ranging from brown to reddish in color. The rock apes hold a distinctive appearance to someone who knows what or who they're looking for. Those who have been fortunate or you might argue unfortunate enough to encounter these creatures have reported seeing more than one, leading many to believe that the rock apes had a preference to live in large groups and stay localized entirely to the jungle, living in relative peace away from human civilization at least up until the breakout of the events that played out during that time. A rather alarming and concerning trait here is that these creatures do not appear to fear humans, with them being seen so many times throughout the area that soldiers would say that they would almost taunt them. Following the descriptions that began to flood in, the vast majority of reports were dismissed, with the plausible explanation being presented that perhaps the horror soldiers had witnessed had had a devastating impact upon their cognitive abilities, with their minds simply giving an exaggerated hyperbolic description of an orangutan, or more accurately a group of them. One issue with this though is that the region's orangutan's population has been extinct for centuries upon centuries, limiting this as an explanation. The existence of this creature is still being debated, Another soldier detailed their story. While being stationed abroad, I got talking with someone who'd been staying in the room a few doors down, and they told me that I have nothing to worry about here, except from the woman in black that roams the corridors during the night. I didn't think anything of it, and thought that he was just messing around. 
It's important to note that there were two buildings that were separated from each other, with both of them having a corridor. You could see through the windows of each of the buildings, and so see the corridors that were parallel to each other. So one night I ended up walking down a corridor, and I can see in the corner of my eye someone who's walking down the other corridor. As I turn my head, I immediately froze. The other person walking down the opposite corridor was a woman dressed in black, long hair and looked pale. When I looked at her, my heart sank, and I had a terrible feeling come over me. I ran back to my room with the hair still raised on my neck. I got into bed and didn't tell anyone until morning. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. End quote. What's strange is that it appears that not only are there several cases of strange sightings of a ghostly female figure, with long black hair wearing a long white or black gown, but these entities seem to appear all across the world in many different countries. This has led many to believe that this phenomenon can appear to almost anyone, and will usually take form when a woman undergoes a tragic event while remaining pure of heart. Space is one of the last unexplored frontiers. Astronomers are constantly making new discoveries, helping us to better understand the cosmos. For years now, there's been speculation that there's a huge planet in our solar system, with astronomers and scientists saying that this celestial body is affecting everything within our solar system. One of the issues they faced is trying to pinpoint where this object is. However, back in 1983, Astronomers said they brushed over data that could have revealed this mysterious planet. It's estimated that this object was seen over 20 billion miles away. Michael Rowan Robinson from Imperial College London was the one who brought this discovery to light, saying that he searched through old archives in the hopes of finding this object. He said that once he tracked down this old piece of data, it did in fact reveal an odd-looking blimp which he says could be evidence of this mysterious planet. After finding it, he then went to analyse data which had been collected by the infrared astronomical satellite. This was captured in 1983, and it actually revealed three sources which could have been Planet Nine. Ryan Robinson did say that it could have been a mysterious celestial entity that astronomers missed during the 80s, but did note that we don't have much to go by. Scientists have recreated this planet, and revealed that if it does exist, it's estimated to be over 10 times larger than Earth. Caltech researchers Mike Brown and Constantine Batigan said the following about their findings. Using samples of the orbital elements and estimates of the radius and albedo of such a planet, we calculate the probability distribution function of the on-sky position of Planet 9, and of its brightness. For many reasonable assumptions, Planet 9 is closer and brighter than initially expected, though the probability distribution includes a long tail to larger distances, and uncertainties in the radius and albedo of Planet 9 could yield fainter objects. After updating calculations of observational biases, we find that the clustering remains significant at the 99.6 confidence level. End quote. One of the problems that researchers are facing is how far away this object is, if it even exists in the first place. It's too far away from our sun to be illuminated, meaning that researchers have to guess where it is, although they've noted that this object is having an effect on things outside of Neptune. Experts from the University of Michigan have suggested that this object may actually be a small black hole although others have noted that this is nothing more than a theory, and that we don't have enough evidence to label it as a black hole. During the 1980s, the infrared astronomical satellite was able to map over 96% of the sky. It did this over a 10-month period. Researchers said though that at the time they weren't looking for an object 10 times bigger than Earth, so no further tests were conducted in order to find out what this thing was. Ryan Robinson then used modern computer techniques in order to reanalyze the data, saying that this wasn't as straightforward as it sounds, as the infrared astronomical satellite had detected over a quarter of a million points in space. 
the team were able to pinpoint this large celestial object down to three points. NASA said the following on their website. Caltech researchers have found mathematical evidence suggesting there may be a planet X deep in the solar system. This hypothetical Neptune-sized planet orbits our Sun in a highly elongated orbit far beyond Pluto. The object, which the researchers have nicknamed Planet 9, could have a mass of around 10 times that of Earth, and orbit around 20 times farther than the Sun on average than Neptune. It may take between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to make one full orbit around the Sun. The announcement does not mean that there is a new planet in our solar system. The existence of this distant world is only theoretical at this point, and no direct observation of the object's nickname Planet 9 is being made. The mathematical prediction of a planet could explain the unique orbits of some smaller objects in the Kuiper Belt, a distant region of icy debris that extends far beyond the orbit of Neptune. Astronomers are now searching for the predicted planet. End quote. Jim Green, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, said the following. The possibility of a new planet is certainly an exciting one for me as a planetary scientist, and for all of us. This is not, however, the detection or discovery of a new planet. It's too early to say with certainty there's a so-called Planet X. What we're seeing is early prediction based on modelling from limited observations. Is the start of a process that could lead to an exciting result. End quote. The predicted orbit is around 20 times further from our Sun on average than Neptune, which orbits the Sun at an average distance of 2.8 billion miles. It would take this new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make just one full orbit around the Sun, when Neptune completes an orbit roughly every 165 years. They estimate the gravity of this potential planet might explain the unusual orbits of those Kuiper objects. Astronomers are now looking forward to the future, and will start to use powerful telescopes in the hopes of tracking down the object. The Caltech astronomers said the following, We would love to find it, but we'd also be perfectly happy if someone else found it. That is why we're publishing this paper. We hope that other people are going to get inspired and start searching. Any time we have an interesting idea like this, we always apply Carl Sagan's rules for critical thinking, which include independent confirmation of the facts, looking for alternative explanations, and encouraging scientific debate. If Planet Nine is out there, we'll find it together, or we'll determine an alternative explanation for the data that we've received so far. Now let's go explore. End quote. So what do you make of this announcement? And do you think this planet exists? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.